Hello and welcome to another VectEasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be learning how to export vector images in Illustrator. Let's say you've downloaded a vector graphic from VectEasy and imported it into Illustrator, manipulated the image, and now you want to export it. You'll see, however, when you go to the Save or Export screens, a multitude of file formats and options. Which one should you choose and why? Well, that's a good question and we're going to answer it right now. First, you need to be familiar with the difference between a vector graphic and a bitmap graphic. A bitmap graphic uses pixels and is a set size and set resolution. If you attempt to enlarge a bitmap image, it will distort. And once a bitmap image is exported, its elements can no longer be edited. On the flip side, a vector graphic is different in that it does not use pixels nor a set size and resolution. In fact, it can be scaled to any size and resolution without distortion, since it's simply a collection of shapes, lines, and curves used to draw the image. And you can edit the image as needed in vector image editing software, like Illustrator or Inkscape, even after it's exported. With this in mind, you'll need to know how you plan to use the exported image to know what file format is best for you. If you're looking to keep the image in a vector format, meaning you can go back and edit it or scale it to any size, you'll need to use one of the following formats, AI, EPS, PDF, or SVG. Keep in mind, not all graphic software can open or import these formats, so you'll need to ensure wherever your files end up, they can be read by the software plan to open them. Only SVG and PDF files are recommended for online use. Vector-based formats are preferred for print purposes and offline images. Note that AI is Adobe's native and proprietary file format, and it cannot be read completely in other applications. So only use that format if you plan to use it in Adobe Illustrator. To export your image in Illustrator as a vector file, go to File, Save, or Save a Copy. And then select either AI, EPS, PDF, or SVG from the Format menu. Take note of the export controls, including the ability to include font files when exporting to some vector formats. If you're looking for the most compatible formats, consider exporting to a bitmap format. Keep in mind the size of your image when you export it, because it cannot be enlarged or edited later without distortion. You'll need to use one of the following formats, JPEG or PNG. Nearly all graphic software and browsers can open or import these formats, so it's safe to use these formats for nearly every screen-based application. JPEG is the most commonly used format, but has more compression than a PNG file. So if you're wanting to maintain the best image quality and don't mind a larger file size, PNG is the format for you. There are many other bitmap file formats to choose from, but these two are the most common and should meet the needs of most. To export your image in Illustrator as a bitmap file, go to File, Export, Export As, and then select either PNG or JPEG from the Format menu. Take note of the resolution and compression controls in the pop-ups for PNG and JPEG accordingly. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and good luck on your creative journey.